Tonight, almost a year since the pandemic broke, evictions remain a no go in and around our area. Moratoriums have been extended again and again for those unable to pay rent. But News 4 found there are still some being forced out, even with these bans in place. And News 4's Ashley Lincoln explains how and who's enforcing these evictions. Financially, it's ruined me. Um, mentally, it's messed me up and physically I'm just drained. Emotions are plentiful for Mary Sounders as she faces eviction. Whole house full of stuff going on here. Um, we've gone through everything so far. She's counting down to the wire, working to load her Carondelet home into a U-Haul. She's got to be out by Wednesday. How can you pack a house that you've lived in for four or five years in seven days? You can't. It's impossible. Many people are protected from evictions while moratoriums are still in place because of the pandemic. But News 4 found those like Sounders fall into a category still susceptible to evictions. This isn't right. Sheriff Vernon Betts told me over the phone his deputies are still conducting evictions not related to non rent payments. He said those evictions include court order evictions from civil disputes, commercial cases, and when residents damage properties. For Sounders, her eviction is by order of a judge following her divorce. There's two houses at play here. Um, the judge hasn't made no determination on who, who gets what house, um, I'm going through a divorce and I'm being evicted. As for what comes next. It's been a big toll on me. But Sounders believes her situation plays into the protection given to others during the pandemic. We got this virus going on, so even if I hadn't been exposed to it yet, there's a good chance you're putting me at exposure to it. This is the third moratorium extension put into place since the beginning of this pandemic. Just last week, a St. Louis judge ruled that the moratorium be extended to March 1st. Think about the public safety and what's at really at risk here. As Wednesday nears, concerns about a virus and now financial strains become front and center. If we weren't in a pandemic that this process might have been a lot more easier. Absolutely. Absolutely, because where am I going to find a place to rent? And I also found that the sheriff's office will be meeting with judges on Wednesday to discuss the moratorium. We, of course, will continue following this story and bring you updates as we get them. In downtown, Ashley Lincoln, News 4.